Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. This is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is going to be for any Sagittarius placement propensity that is important or relevant to you. I saw that earlier too, Queen of Pentacles. Um, contact information, personal reading information, anything seen in this video will all be linked in the description box. Link for my website. This reading is aimed for the first week of February. Although time is not linear, we are all on different timelines. This could be happen. This could have happened yesterday. Could have happened. Could be happening today, or may happen. You know, tomorrow. At the end, I will pull the oracles for you just to see what they got to say. Give you some further guidance. And we're jumping right in for Sagittarius. First week of February. What else do we have for Sagittarius? I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. High Priestess. Nice. Highly intuitive right now, I must say. <laughs> Highly intuitive. Good. That's what we need. Tap into that intuition. What else do we have? For Sagittarius, we have ones that want to flip out, but they don't come out. Saw the Five of Cups. Ooh, beautiful way to end that. Bottom of the deck this week, Sagittarius, we are looking at Major Arcana for Virgo Energy, the Hermit card. So, isolation mode, are we? Hermit mode, are we? Yeah, very keeping yourself very contained or someone is. Someone is definitely keeping their cards close to their chest. Maybe have been a bit silent. Not really talking too much, not saying too much. Really, really in deep contemplation and meditation here. Trying to figure out what the person, what their what their inner self wants. Could be you, could be someone you're dealing with. But very much reflecting. What should I do? Where do I go? What do I need? What do I want? What is best for me? Taking the time to figure that shit out. Okay, let's jump into it. Past position. We are starting with the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So Earth sign energy could definitely be relevant to you. Also have Virgo here as well. Capricorn Taurus could be relevant. We just left Capricorn season. That could have been a significant time point. Um, but definitely self-care here I'm getting with this Queen of Pentacles. Taking care of the self, nurturing the self, mothering the self. Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing energy. The mother, so to speak, right? The wife. Um, anything this person touches grows. She knows how to take care of things, but she also knows how to take care of herself, male or female. It does not matter. Feminine energy is is keeping your is when you keep your energy. You're not chasing anything. You're not out there trying to find anything. You're just doing you, taking care of you. What comes to you comes to you. And you're not running anything down. Very double confirmation with that. Very much self focused. It's focused on the self. But there definitely seems like there's something new popping up. I see the Page of Pentacles here. There's something that has your attention or something has, something's got its eye on you. Admirative energy here, being admired, being looked at, curiosity. And I also see the fool, so definitely something new about to happen here for you. Three of Pentacles, I mean, three of Cups here, celebrations, you know, hanging out with friends. We just got out of holiday season. So some of you were very much trying to be present is what I'm getting. Very much trying to be present in the present moment, not really thinking too much ahead or too far back, right? Which is also a form of self-care. Definitely could have reunited with someone here in the past. Three months ago, three weeks ago, not necessarily, but there's definitely an energy of, you know, even just hanging with friends, being with the people that love you, that you know love you, that, you know, show you that love, that give you that nurturing back. Present energy, Ace of Wands and Major Arcana for Pisces energy, the High Priestess. So there's definitely something new happening here, some sort of spark, some sort of new opportunity, very sexual energy as well with the Ace of Wands. Could be relevant, some of y'all might be needing it, especially if you were in home hermit mode. But it's something you intuitively knew was coming. Definitely more of this not speaking energy too. This definitely could be you and someone else that's not speaking to each other now that I'm getting it. This is like the masculine and feminine in a sense, right? Both not speaking, but very much intuitively speaking to each other. And there's definitely some sort of spark between you and someone, something. Definitely feels like a someone. The letter J or B could be irrelevant. But there will be progress. I'm seeing two to the three. 
There's definitely someone that you're playing shy with and this person's also playing shy with you. But you know intuitively that this is this is a connection worth investing in. But you're not about to go crazy trying to bring this thing in. If it's for you, you know that it will align with you. The universe will do what it has to do. But there's definitely a spark here. There's definitely interest. There's definitely passion between you and someone else that are both sort of mirroring each other as well. High Priestess, very intuitive energy, but someone that says very few words, you know, very few words, doesn't say much. Hermit, doesn't say much, but so wise, these two. So wise, right? So wise, so knowledgeable. They know so much, but they say very little. So definitely could be meeting your match. Future energy, Knight of Pentacles with Major Arcana for Leo energy, the Sun card. Definitely, there's definitely someone that's on your wavelength here. Although this is a knight and this is a king, a queen, the knights are just messengers. The knights are the ones that get moving. Although King of Pentacles takes very long for this person to make a move, right? You might not even be expecting this. Well, intuitively, you know, this high priestess here tells me that you, you had a feeling that this was going to happen. This person was going to present themselves to you eventually. But you're probably having war of the uh, telepathy. Uh, Earth sign energy as well. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone that is very, very... They don't invest quickly. But when they do decide to invest, it's forever. You hear me? It's, it's, it's forever. This is the type of person that uh, measures a hundred times and cuts once. If you can understand what I'm saying to you. There's people, they just cut, right? And they realize after, oh, shit, everyone's got to get equal size. There's six of us. I cut the slices too big. Now we can't get all get a piece. Not the king, not, not the knight of pentacles. He gets that ruler out and double checks and then double checks and then double checks and then double checks. And then when he's certain, that's when he makes his cut because cuts are permanent. And King of Pentacles energy the, the values time, values energy, just like the Queen of Pentacles. So say you're, you're very much mirroring someone. And with this Sun card, this is the outcome. Maybe this is someone that you had some sort of brief interaction here with in the past. You know, old old friend as well, definitely. School friend, someone you've known a very long time or someone that you just mutual friend group or even you know had a brief interaction with this person but does it looks like you guys have not forgotten of each other as much as there is extreme silence it's almost aligned it's like that spark was lit i'm getting i'm, I'm getting the vision of a of a match you know cracking the side of the the box with this ace of wands beautiful energy here potential Sun is growth, fertility. If you're not trying to get pregnant, do what you got to do. <laughs> Nothing happier than a baby on a pony. Being in flow as well. Creation. Happiness. Let's see what the oracles have for you this week. Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? Meditate and contemplate. Hmm. Very much high priestess and hermit energy. Pisces energy as well could be relevant. Very abundant energy as well with this Pisces energy. We do have the King, uh, the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So very stable people, people that invest for the long term, marrying this person very much. We also have double confirmation of that Pisces energy. Pisces could be in your chart. I'm hearing Pisces North Node, Pisces Moon, Pisces the, 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 the month, which is February. Is it or March, the end of March? And you do have the two here in your timing position. So definitely could be something happening by the end of February. In February, the end of February, Pisces season. Definitely Pisces season is standing out to me. What else do we have? Well, you knew intuitively you could have also been dreaming of this person and wondering why you're dreaming of this person. This person could probably be dreaming of you too. Because it was like, it's just a brief interaction. Why am I still thinking of this person? I'm looking at the clock. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Big changes for you, Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? First week of February. Yeah, so by Pisces season, this, this Knight of Pentacles is going to make the move. Or someone's going to make a move. Something relevant is happening by that time. 
Armadillo's spirit set healthy boundaries, but it didn't flip out. Yeah, boundaries. You guys are very guarded, the both of you. This is why you're showing up as the Hermit and the High Priestess. Very guarded. Very guarded, the both of you. So that's why there's like this silent standoff. What else do we have? It's way too many. And I do only take jumpers. What do we have for Sagittarius? One card, please, for Sagittarius. What do they need to know? Why so many? Why? See, I don't like that. Okay. That one wanted to stay. Oh my goodness. Otter spirit, you are never alone. Number 42, this is six of cups energy. Definitely a soulmate here. This is what your intuition is speaking to. This is what this person's intuition is speaking to. They're in hermit mode. You're in high priestess mode. Definitely could be could like speaking through the eyes I heard. I don't know what that's about, but definitely speaking through the mind. Con you know, communicating through the mind, through dreams, almost. Otter spirit, you are never alone. And hermit is very isolated energy. So is the high priestess. So it's like in your alone time, you guys are thinking of each other. There's definitely alignment happening here, but maybe something with divine timing. I did see the fool. So someone is the, someone is going to take a leap of faith. Someone is going to reach out and message, but they're still juggling as to whether or not they should do it. But action is going to be taken. I see the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords underneath that. Movement forward quickly. Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? Creating heaven on earth. It is happening. Definitely. This is heavy manifestation energy as well. Lumira, creating heaven on earth. It is happening. You may not see it. It may be moving very slowly, but it is happening. It is happening. It's only a matter of time at this point. That is your reading I have for you this week, Sagittarius. I really do hope that resonates with all of you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week.